Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're gonna do OSI model. And uh, excuse me for my voice, kind of sick, but um, I'm recovering. And it's been a week since I upload a video. So today we're gonna learn learning path with the pre-security path and I already reset the OSI model. See, it's pretty much uh, you learn this this is the fundamental networking framework so there's a YouTube video that you can follow along but I'm just gonna answer all the tasks for you guys so you can follow along so let's get right into it uh, task one what is O what is the OSI model so the question is below is what does the OS, OSI and OSI model stand for? As you read through the task, it's open systems interconnection. Next question, how many layers and digits does the OSI model have? As you read through, we see the visual presentation is seven. Next question is, what is the key term for when pieces of information get added to data? As you read through it, the process is called encapsulation. Let me encapsulation. All right, next task, task two, layer seven application. Very simple read, what's the name of this layer? presentation oh wait sorry application what is the technical term that is given to the name of the software that users interact with as you read through the task is graphical user interface all right this task has three layer six presentation it's a short read was is the name of the of this layer presentation and what is the main purpose that this layer act as hint this layer translate data from one format to another which is a translator nice task four layer five session what is the name of this layer session? And what is the technical term for when a connection is successfully established? These are unique per connection. As you read, a session is created. What is the technical term for small chunks of data? Small chunks of data is called packets. Task five, layer four, transport. Now this is a very important read. It talks about TCP and UDP. So what's this name of this layer, transport? What does TCP stand for? As you read through it, it is called transmission control protocol. I'm just gonna highlight and copy and paste. What does UDP stand for? User Data Protocol, Datagram Protocol. What protocol guarantees the accuracy of data? As you read advantages and disadvantages, TCP guarantees the accuracy of data. And what protocol doesn't care if data is received or not by the other device? I remember as don't care means UDP. And what protocol would applications such as an email client use? I would assume it's TCP. Next question, what protocol would an application that downloads files use? That would be TCP again. And lastly, what protocol with application that streams 
video use. It's uh, we somewhere around here, but yeah, it's uh, UDP. All right, and that's Tau's layer three network. What is the name of this layer network? Will packets take the most optimal route across a network? Yes or no? I should read through it. Yes, it does. What does the acronym OSPF stand for? It's open shortest path first. What does the acronym RIP stand for? Routing Information Protocol. Last question, what type of addresses are dealt with at this layer? Hint, devices on a network use these, for example, 192.168.1.100. These are called IP addresses. I like to think network as like a mail route with mailboxes. Task seven, layer two data link. What is the name of this layer? Data link. What is the name of the piece of hardware that all network devices come with. Him M Y C. So Fisco is network interface card. This task layer one Fisco is probably the simplest concept to grasp. What is the name of this layer? Fisco. What is the name of the numbering system that is both zeros and ones as we drew it as a binary numbering system? What is the name of the cables that are used to connect devices? An example is Ethernet cables. And task nine, practical OSI game. So click view site. And I'm going to use this sort of like cheating sheet. So our hacker has locked in the dungeon. Their only chance of freedom is by choosing the correct path based on the OSI model. Use your cursor keys to move left and right and space bar to end the doors. All right, let's go. Space bar. Was it? Oh, data link. Let's go. Network transport session presentation application. Sweet, and this is the answer. Copy and paste. And lastly, task 10 continue your learning packets and frames. All right, guys, uh, this was a fairly simple room to complete. So you can share on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn as I share on Twin uh, LinkedIn. And if you like this video, guys, please hit the thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel, and comment uh, how to improve these videos. So currently, I have no IT experience, but I am certified in uh, CompTIA, IFT+, A+, CYSA+, Pentest+, and Security+. Plus. Um, I like learning this stuff and I'm using my own time and money on it. So, uh, and currently I'm studying Network+, Plus, so this is a good refresher. Anyways guys, uh, thanks for watching, till next time.